I've recently been playing a lot with this and I've been playing with this. This is an all digital little gem. It's got digital oscillators and a whole host of digital filters. And this is a hybrid. It's got digital oscillators and it's got analog filters, but just for good measure, it's thrown in a load of its own digital filters as well. And they both sound fabulous. And that got me thinking, is there really a difference between digital and analog filters these days? I mean, this is a modern wavetable synth with beautiful analog filters. And this is a relatively modern wavetable synth, but with digital filters. Here's a vintage one with digital oscillators and analog filters, and here's another. And when you look at something like the Iridium versus the Quantum, more cash for less voices, is it really worth the extra money? I mean, I know there are differences, we can hear differences from various synths, but can we really hear them in a mix? Or is it just those sort of synth heads? getting obsessed over very, very minor differences, sometimes possibly imperceptible differences, just those little magic things that your ears can hear that analog synths or analog filters bring to the mix that we don't really realize it just sounds better. Well, there's only one way to find out and that's a blind test. So there you go, it's not actually that easy, is it? I mean, I can tell, I think a little bit more with the 24 dB single sawtooth filter sweeps, just because I know the sound of the kit in here. But on the 12 dB, I thought it was a lot harder on that little pad, but I'm really interested to see um, what your best guesses are. So do put them in the comments, but no, story is complete without a little twist at the end. We haven't considered stuff like this, the Stylophone Generate. or the PWM from Malevolent. And stuff like this can really make things sound absolutely disgusting in a fantastic way. And I don't think I've found a digital filter that will do quite what these two <laughs> little bad boys will. And don't forget, there's some really nice crunchy stuff you can get from digital filters. I've got a Microwave XT down there and that's got this digital FM filter that's that's absolutely horrible as well. Again, in a fantastic way. And the only thing I know that can do that is the Microwave XT. And that's all digital. So, an interesting little play around with a, with a few synths really. Just a good opportunity for me to get to know the Hydra synth a little bit better because I'm gonna do a couple of videos on that 
soon. So I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please think about subscribing, ring the bell, join me over on Patreon. I've got hours worth of tutorials, some samples, some patches, and this and that. Uh, and obviously you can contact me and I can try and help you with any of your issues you're having with your synths. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you next time.